We have more news from Israel now, where a new report from the Public Committee Against Torture in Israel, known as PCATI, has raised serious concerns over is how Israel treats Palestinian minors. The report details investigations of abuse that ranges from torture, sexual violence, imprisoning minors in iron cages, and other indiscriminate threats to children by IDF soldiers. Now, the damning report talks of lengthy human rights abuses verified by several other NGOs. And the report also claims that during a winter storm, children were, quote, kept outside in freezing temperatures for hours from the time of their arrest until they attended court the following day. And now PCATI has demanded that Israeli authorities overhaul the law to include provisions for the protection of children to safeguard them from torture. So, you Noga, know, how much stock do you place in this report? You know, there have been several sources today hitting back at the PCATI over previous hyperbolic claims about Palestinian torture by Israeli authorities. Yeah, well, I can confirm one part of it. I have to say, I just, uh, in the last half hour, heard from the spokeswoman for Justice Minister Tsipi Livni, specifically about the cage issue. I, I haven't been able to get confirmation from any authoritative sources about the rest, and I've seen conflicting reports. But it does turn out, apparently or possibly, in a one-off, that an ombudsman found, I, I didn't hear that it was minors, but an ombudsman did find a Palestinian prisoner or prisoners being held in iron cages in terribly inclement weather. Uh, and this was brought to the attention of the justice minister and apparently was taken care of immediately. Um, her spokeswoman gave a lot of credit to the police minister for having responded immediately. And they're referring, they're saying responsibility falls on the prison authorities. Um, so I can tell you that that happened, and I don't really know about the rest, but I'll look into it. Yeah, you know, you just sort of on that idea, you know, how likely do you think uh, is it that Israel is going to respond? I mean, you know, you sort of pointed out that there were some concessions made, and we know on December 17th, the Public Defender Office reported that the Justice Minister consulted with the Minister of Public Security and ordered uh, an apparent total freeze on cage detention. Uh, you know, are we going to see any changes in light of the conversations that are supposed to be taking place on Tuesday at the Knesset about uh, similar rights issues? I don't know, obviously, what will happen, um, but I think that there is quite a bit of uh, public agitation. I, I, I think many people were surprised when um, they understood that there, this cage, the accusations about the cage prisoners actually uh, was real and was not one of these, what you refer to, you know, these exaggerated accounts. Um, it's still not clear to me how common uh, this is, but it did happen, and I suspect it's going to be quite, uh, I would say, a stormy session of the parliament on Tuesday. I think it's really on the public agenda at the moment. Okay, well, uh, we'll be watching out on Tuesday, and I no doubt we'll be reporting uh, about what happened. But thank you so much for joining me. Indeed. Thank you so much.